Uh, my name is Kabinian. Um, I did my bachelor's here at Frankfurt School. I uh, was in the class of 2023, my bachelor's in business administration. Well, Recarb was founded to make nature investable. The biggest challenge of our time right now is climate change. Our vision and our understanding of this is we cannot solve the climate crisis without putting money uh, into it in some sense. We need to make nature investable. We need to make people aware that destroying nature has a cost and that cost is great. That is what we're trying to do here. At the end of the day, it's about funneling billions into nature restoration, ecosystem restoration, and uh, rebuilding what has been destroyed. So my roles um, are business development and sales in that sense. So it's coming down to uh, designing how we make money, how uh, our products work, because at the end of the day, um, it's kind of like a financial product in that sense that we're trying to build here and that we're building here. And um, of course, also the customer facing side of the business. I, I briefly mentioned it, we want to make nature investable and that is what it really comes down to. We give companies um, the basis that they need and also investors the basis that they need to make decisions on investments. A lot of people might be familiar with Moody's, Standard & Poor's, Fitch, rating agencies. We're the same thing, but for nature. So we rate projects that restore nature, that restore ecosystems on a scale from D to AAA. And um, based on that, companies can then invest into these projects and uh, put their money into this. Because we need nature finance um, to keep the planet alive. We need carbon removal as well. And um, there's a lot of trust issues in this market right now. And what we're working on is giving the scientific basis for them to make decisions on investments the same way they would make decisions in the, in the, in the real world in that sense, right, uh, that they used to. Not everybody in the world is in the same position to uh, just work on the climate crisis, to figure out ways how to solve this. Um, but we need people to do this, and uh, the more the better. And for me, it's about having a greater impact. It's doing something that goes um, beyond just uh, daily 9 to 5 work in that sense, but actually having an impact that will change the world for the better. We want to restore and repair what has been broken in this world. We want to keep the foundation of our society, of how we live. It comes down to food, to everything because the people that will be most affected by the by climate change will not be the ones that have necessarily cost. And um, that also reflects in my, in my private life and what I do personally with the firefighting. It's, it's helping people when they most need it. That is just for me the most rewarding thing in my work that I can do. You just can't put a price tag on that. It's, it's the best motivation and it really, it really helps you to keep the motivation up every single day. Praying for School gives you uh, a great foundation to go out and explore and, and go find your career path in that sense. There are so many different ways you can go um, with this degree and with this knowledge and with the skills that you learn here um, that it can sometimes be overwhelming to really find the, the sweet spot that is for you and find your true passion. But at the end of the day, the, the community, the initiatives, the people that you will meet here, um, the lecturers, right, all of this um, gives you a safety net, um, a base to always come back to if things don't turn out in the way you want them to, right? You go down one path, you try out a certain career field, you realize it's not for you, it's not a deal breaker, it's time well invested because you know a little bit more now, but you can then get back to, to that base, to that safety net and try something new again. An advice I would give to, to an FS student is to follow your passion and your heart. Who do you decide to work with or work for? Um, what is the mission that drives you? Um, this is the biggest impact that you can possibly have in your younger years. Um, and if you really want to make a change, then go work with the people that have the same mission. If it feels like the right thing and the right way to go, then uh, you might have found the first step in your career and the first path to go down on. Um, but yeah, follow your passion and uh, be true to yourself and reflect on that.